Hello, hello, and welcome to Our Little Path. My name is Amanda. If you are new here, thank you so much for joining me. Today, I am finally doing my look through of Beautiful Feet Books Ancient History for Intermediate and Junior High Grades. Um, this is going to be our part of our history for the 2023-24 school year. And because there's so many books, I've just alluded to we'll be doing a look through. So that's what this is today. If you are curious about Beautiful Feet books, thanks for joining me. I am so excited to share this with you. And Killarney is here joining me, if you could see him in view. <laughs> so. Before we jump in, I just wanna thank you for joining. Please comment below if you have Heard of Beautiful Feet books before, if you've used them or if you've been curious, I'd love to know. This will be our first time utilizing this curriculum and we're excited to try it. So I'd love to hear who has tried it or who's looking to, try it. to go ahead and hit that like button if you like watching look through videos and please hit that subscribe button if you like following things on homeschooling, motherhood and um, faith journey because that's what I like to talk about here. Feet Books is a um, very Charlotte Mason style approach to learning. Um, a lot of living books and um, utilizing those to teach not only just, let's say, history, but mapping skills, art skills. Um, I, I know, you just need some attention. Oh boy, it's still, okay. <laughs> so, yeah, I, I don't know how I found out about them the past couple months, but I've been eyeing them probably since the fall, and I'm excited to have our ESA availability to purchase these curriculums. Um, very thankful for that here in Arizona, but even not, I probably would have made I would have made it work to get this this curriculum. I know they tend to be a little bit more expensive, but it's expensive because it's very book heavy. So you could probably source, um, you know, the, the teacher handbook and then maybe source some of these books used and that would be a better fit for price range. So I do want to throw that up there that, you know, I bought all of this just in the pack from Beautiful Feet Books, but I think that depending on the books and things like that, you probably could find some stuff used to help lower the cost of the this curriculum because I will say it is um, it tends to be a little pricier just because it's all new books and things like that so um, anyways their uh, ancient history is going from 4000 BC to 200 BC so it's pretty big time frame uh, it follows Mesopotamia Sumer Rome Greece and Egypt, um, or maybe not Mesopotamia, maybe just Sumer, which might be the same area. I'm not sure, <laughs> but um, yeah, so we are excited to do this program. I'm gonna go ahead and show you all the books that are utilized in the program, and then we'll do kind of like a closer look through of what the teacher's guide looks like. I really like their teacher's guides. Um, between this and the other curriculum that we got for this year. I'm super excited. I think that it leaves room for the parents to kind of like add on, but also like if you just wanted to follow the teacher's guide solely, you'd be set too. So yeah, let's go ahead and look through what we have. The first book that they um, have in the curriculum is the Usborne Internet Linked Encyclopedia of the Ancient World. So this is just like a huge encyclopedia. Very excited for this. I like that it's internet linked as well. The next book we will be reading is a read aloud and it's The Golden Bull and this is in Mesopotamia. Then we have landmark books, The Pharaohs of Ancient Egypt. And we have The Golden Goblet by Eloise Jarvis McGraw. And then Adara. I'm not sure what this one is about, but I really like the cover. It looks like um, possibly about someone who gets captured into slavery, who is an Israelite. Should be interesting. Uh, God King, the story of the days of King Hezekiah. And then 
the next books, they have The Children's Homer. And then the Delari's Book of Greek Myths. This one just alone is beautiful. Um, pretty cool pictures inside as well. And then Ferris and His Town. This is um, about young Ferris born in Athens. And then we have Augustus Caesar's World. The Bronze Bow, which actually um, I haven't read, but I think it's one of my husband's favorite books from school, like one of the few he probably actually did read, <laughs> which he will fully admit he like did not read books for school. <laughs> uh, and then City, a story of Roman planning and construction. I actually just really like looking at this one. Um, I don't know. I like we've had like a couple like construction type books over the years that we've gotten like from the library and things like that and I always find them super fascinating. Maybe I should have been an architect or something at one point. All right and the last one is The White Isle and this is about um, Rome when they're in Britain. And then the last thing here too is it comes with, <clears throat> Kitty you are laying on mom's stuff. Okay so it comes with a notebook for your kids because it's all about um, like notebooking what they learn, things like that. And then this is a really big map of the region that they will be filling out throughout the year. So let's see if I can get this right. Oh boy, you probably can't even fit it on the screen, but We'll hang this up on the wall and they'll be filling in the map as we go based on the teacher's manual and what it tells us to do. And the last part, this was really cool. I'm kind of excited for this um, because Story of Civilization by Tan has a timeline, but it's just already printed for you. This, they give you the timeline pages. There's like a couple, so you can tape them together. And then they give you different timeline pieces to cut out and add to the timeline. So it gives you like instructions on assembling the timeline in the back. And this will be pretty cool because my kids really like to color. So I think it'll be nice to give them something to color while we're reading. And then um, they'll be able to fill in the timeline as we go. So those are all the components of Beautiful Feet books. Um, again, like I said, it focuses on the living books. So they have in the teacher's guide uh, topics on just the history, like question reviews. They also do um, mapping skills in the teacher's guide and it does some art integration topics as well. Um, so yeah, I'm super excited. Let's uh, flip the camera around and I'll do a look through on the teacher's guide so you guys can get a better idea of what that entails um, to help you in your decision process. Okay friends, so here we have the teacher's manual for ancient history. It's like still nice and crispy. Always fun to open brand new books, right? So here you have your table of contents, how to use it. They do a nice little um, article on teaching mythology from like a Christian perspective. And I really um, thought it was very interesting. Um, yeah. And then it goes into your lesson plans and how it's broken up. So first you'll learn about Sumer and Mesopotamia, Egypt, Israel and Judah, Greece, and then Rome at the end of the year. This here, they provide you, it says, with some hand-on activities, notebooks, vocabulary lists, mapping and geography. You'll have comprehension and discussion questions, extra websites to visit, additional recommended titles. Um, <clears throat> and then it just says, like, is this everything I need for the lesson? No, not necessarily. There may be things you want to add on. Um, so they give you kind of information for that. And then all of the books that you should have are in here. So if you wanted to just buy like the teacher's guide and try and source these used, you could um, just utilize that. And it kind of gives you like a brief overview of what each book is about as well. Um, they give you supplemental literature, which we haven't bought. I'll kind of like see how it goes before I buy these things. 
And then as you go into each new section, it provides hands-on activity ideas here, which actually some of these are very similar to the story of civilization, um, hands-on activities. So that's kind of cool because you can kind of see the overlap as you go through, if you're like me and excessive and combine things. <laughs> so again, um, I just really like, it like still keeps everything really beautiful for the parents. It's not just like, you know, here's your lesson no fun pictures or anything like that. I don't know. It's a feast for parents' eyes, not only just for the kids as well, which I really like. So it has all of your lessons, one, two, three, um, different topics that you'll do. Let's go and pick, let's see. Let's look at lesson two here because this one has like some mapping on it. So lesson two, this one, you're looking at your big map that I showed you guys, and they'll be labeling all of these parts on the big map. They have some Bible readings to read through, um, and then working on the history timeline. So it's not always necessarily reading from your um, read aloud books, but you could definitely squeeze like a chapter or two in because some of the books, like this one says read chapters five to 10 of the Golden Bowl. I don't know about for you, but for me, that's a lot of read aloud. So I'd probably spread some chapters into the lessons that we're not necessarily reading from that. Uh, just because I find that's a lot. Uh, let's go see. So by lesson seven, they have you finishing the golden bowl, have the kids narrate. Um, and then let's see if we can find some other things in here. Let's go to a different section maybe. Oh, Clarky. Go. All right, let's see. Let's look here. Um, this lesson 79 gives you places to look up extra information on, gives you some questions. And yeah, I don't know. I just like that it's like relatively simple, walks you through it each one. They said that you can finish this in a year, but it does leave room so that if you didn't like do three lessons a week, then, um, you know, you have some flexibility. There's 97 lessons in this whole, uh, curriculum. So gives you some extra room. Oh, I'll show you at the end. There was an answer guide. I kind of glossed over that really fast. So for any of the questions you're asking, there is an answer key as well, which is really nice. And then last, there is your glossary of vocabulary words followed by your sources. So that is the look through for the teacher's handbook of Beautiful Feet Ancient History for intermediate and junior high grades. I hope this was helpful. If you like this video, please go ahead and hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe. All right, have a great day. Bye.